In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this easy sunset painting in acrylic. This project can be created in about an hour and is fun and relaxing to paint. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. For paint, we'll be using titanium white, lemon yellow, orange, vermilion, phthalo blue and black and they're all in the acrylic color range. We'll be using some gallery series brushes and this is the set with the liner brush in it. We'll also need a small cup to thin our black paint and a tub of water and a sponge. The first step is to create the colors in the sky. To create this, first we wet the sponge and dampen the surface of the canvas. Next we place the colors directly onto the canvas, starting with phthalo blue across the top and three bands across the bottom. We then add titanium white either side of these, followed by yellow adjacent to the white bands, then orange and lastly a single band of vermilion. To blend these colors, dampen the sponge and drag the sponge horizontally across the canvas. Move the sponge back and forward until the blend is smooth. Wash the sponge in water, then blend the next set of colors. Follow this process of washing the sponge in between blends until all of the colors are transitioned into each other. Allow the paint to dry. If you want, you can give it a second coat. This is optional, but it gives the colors a richer tone. Once the sky is dry, we mix up our black in a cup by adding a little water. This is so the paint flows easier. Add the water in small amounts until the paint has the viscosity of pouring cream. Now we can paint in the bank. Refer to the supplied printout for guidance and you can find this on the Montmartre website. The thing with this is to ensure the bank is slightly above the center of the canvas. This is for compositional reasons, as when horizons are placed across the center of the canvas, it divides the painting and is not as aesthetically pleasing to the viewer. Allow this to dry and we can add the trees on the top of the bank. The easiest way to do this is to turn the canvas upside down. So all the strokes move down the canvas. This way, it is easier to taper the strokes out to nothing. Begin by laying the trunks in first. As we do this, ensure that they are all slightly different. If all the trunks are the same, the painting will look contrived and unnatural. Paint some trunks straight, some with a slight lean, some thin and some thicker. While you're here, don't forget to take a look around the Create section on our site and uncover a whole heap of free stuff. From free projects, handy tips and tricks, and techniques to keep you busy. Once all of the trunks are in, we can use our thin liner brush to lay in the branches. A liner brush has longer bristles, so they hold more paint, and a stroke will run for longer. When using a liner to create fine lines, hold the brush very lightly. When the brush is charged, remove the excess off on the edge of the cup. Once the trees are in, turn the canvas back the correct way and we can now create the reflections of the trees we have just painted. When painting reflections, take the strokes from directly beneath the trees on the bank. Reflections don't have the same amount of detail, so the strokes can basically be softened and simplified. To create a soft mark, we can use a technique called dry brushing. This just means charging the brush with paint wiping the excess off onto a paper towel and then lightly dragging the brush over the canvas. The result is that the paint only comes into contact with the top weave of the canvas, giving a half tone sort of effect. It's a simple technique and once you get the hang of it, you will have many uses for it with your art. 
everything from tonal rendering, suggesting smoke and sheer fabric. The final step is to create a line to suggest where the water meets the bank. A really great way to get a nice straight line with paint is to angle a ruler and run the brush held on its side along the edge. For this, we can first lay down a thin white line and once this is dry, we lay a phthalo blue line over this. And voila. Well, thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this fun little lesson. If you try this project, we'd love to see it. Otherwise, have fun, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next one.